The New York Knicks select. Yeah. Okay. Big Benz. Yeah. Bitch, I know. Spend a lot of time on cash and I need a road just to drive in the snow. Come from New York, so my heart had been cold. Yeah, what is up guys? Coach Cole back in the building. You already know the vibes Omega family. And we back today with another video for y'all. In today's video, we're going to address the top budget ballers for the end of May in NBA 2K22. Let's get straight into it, guys. Before we get into that, make sure y'all subbing down. We so, 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 so close to 1,000 subs. It means the world to me if y'all get it popping down below all right so let's get into it guys honestly this budget baller list is just gonna keep on expanding and getting so much more and more better every single two weeks that we do this at this point but this list in particular guys if you have any holes on your team i advise you go pick these players up now because they're only going to get better at my number 10 spot is going to actually be a dynamic duo that we got at the start of season seven and it is going to be kevin herter because his dynamic duo is actually with cam reddish from the Atlanta Hawks. I think Kevin Hurd is a excellent card to go off and pick up right now because he's probably like 5K. He was actually like 1200 before the Dynamic Duo came out. So he's actually gone up in price. But that being said, Kevin Herder with Cam Reddish goes crazy. Wow, actually, they have gone up in price. This is also because of the fact that the Limited was this weekend, so people are still trying to sell this card for kind of high. Um, 7K, I would say probably wait it out and get him for about 4.5 to 5K. I think that's the range that Kevin Herter should be at. Um, but his dynamic duo with Cam Reddish goes crazy. I actually do have it right here. And as y'all can see, I am going to pull it up for y'all so y'all can see it in the flesh. Let's see. So, when you get this dynamic duo, Kevin Herter becomes a Galaxy of Boom. Cam Reddish does become a Dark Matter. You can see Kevin Herter's things here, where you get all of these Hall of Fame badges for 7K max. Let me know, can you put an extra 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 Hall of Fame badges on anyone for 7,000 NT? You cannot, the answer is no. So Kevin Herter with Cam Reddish is literally such an amazing duo. And Cam Reddish, like I said, is also getting that special treatment of badges. So let's actually see how much Cam's price is at. And Cam should be at about that 8.5 to about 10K uh, MT, if not even less. I'm only saying that high because of the fact that, oh wow. Because of the fact that his dynamic rating, um, because of his dynamic duo that did come out. So yes, Cam is sitting at about that 10k mark. I would say, wait, get him at about 9, eh, even 8.5k. And literally just from there, like it's the easiest duo to get for under 20k MT. Make sure you pick up both of these cards right away. Alright, coming in at my number 9 is going to be a card that does it all without even trying to do it all, and that's going to be Mike Miller. And the reason why Mike Miller is such a good card is because not only is he cheap, but he has the ability to be a good on-ball defender. And that is rare for a card like this because usually these cards are the ones that have the hardest way to get... Um, any type of defense from them because they're usually considered a cone okay so mike miller is selling just under that 8k mark it looks like so i would say make sure that you pick up a mike miller for about that 6.5k mark if you can it looks like cheapest one is selling at 77 but these filters are broken um because you know that's just how 2k likes to play this game um let's see so 78 seems like the cheapest one i think that you can pick one up for 7k easily and you'll be satisfied with mike miller because let's let's just look at his badges like mike miller is really that dude 24 hall badges 34 hall, uh gold and he obviously has all the good shooting badges in the game with blinders limitless chef all that stuff 
But on top of that, he's also a decent defender, and that's something that you don't expect from a card like this. So for 7 to 8K, you really can't go wrong with Mike Miller at number 9. Coming in at my number 8, guys, is going to be Danny Ferry. Pink Diamond is good. Galaxy Opal Pit Danny Ferry is a certified bucket and has just a little bit of that better animation that you're looking for in Galaxy Opal. So, Danny Ferry is coming in at about that 20k MT mark. And even at 20k, guys, this is such a steal for a card, guys. Literally, this card is comparable to this hero Giannis. Why? Because his sigs are good. He, like, 97 three-pointer, like, block is good, offensive rebound is good, his 7-4 wingspan, I believe. It's just insane what this card could do, especially the fact that he can play the small forward position guy. We're at this point in the year where Danny Ferry deserves to be on every, every, and I mean every single budget baller lineup if you have a squad like that so make sure you pick up Danny Ferry he's literally so clutch coming in at my number seven guys this is gonna be a little bit more expensive if you go into the cheapest dark matter filter more likely than not you will find Joe Johnson on that list because he's honestly like probably gonna settle in about that 65 to 80k mark when it's all said and done but this card is still such a certified bucket guys let's see we can get it for about 82k yeah that's about what he's selling for 82k but this card provides you everything he's an iso score he's a defender he's tall and lengthy at the shooting guard but if you want to go into dark matter and cheapest and that moves us forward into the next card on our list which is going to be number six and that is pascal siakam pascal siakam just came out in yesterday's set but the thing with pascal guys not only does he have such a good base shot he's a shooting guard at six nine what other shooting guards outside of Giannis do you know make it above six nine not many and the reason for that is because we do not have out of position two in packs yet i think that's coming out this friday we'll see how that works but pascal is probably the second to fifth best shooting guard in this game outside of invincibles if it weren't for the fact that Giannis out of position were a thing Giannis out of position i think is the best card in the game as shooting guard pascal comes out a close second and he's only 75k cheaper than iso joe coming in at my number five is again another card that i do not expect on this list forever but it is my man's nate thurman nate thurman is actually so good that he's starting in my power forward position right now why because he's a bucket he's also a defensive lengthy monster like that sounded wrong but he's a defensive lengthy monster that can give you the corner shot can give you the layup can give you the rebound so like this man is just a defensive beast on the boards he's literally literally a mini Hakeem Olajuwon so make sure you pick up Nate Thurman guys he's one of the better cards in this game Coming in at my number four spot, guys, it is true. My man's Chris Boucher from the Fearless set is probably one of the best budget power forward centers in this game. For literally not even 2,000 MT, I think. Uh, 2,500 MT. For literally 2,700 MT, guys, you are getting a certified bucket. He does lack a little bit on the offensive end just because he does not have all the shooting badges that you would want to have on him coming in at my number four is going to be this norman powell from the toronto raptors again because this card at six four may be a little undersized for the shooting guard but at point guard he runs perfectly fine and 
This card is also, again, a good defender. And at my number three spot, I never thought I'd feel like this towards a card, but Jeff Green from the Signature Series from a couple weeks ago. Look at that, for 3,800, you can get a Signature one. For 3,800, you can get a Signature one, guys. And again, just a great card overall. Good spacer, can play the small forward position. What can't this card do is really the question. At my number two spot is going to be my man with the plan. Shane Battier is a 6'8 shooting guard that, again, not as good as my man's Pascal in terms of overall offense, but defensively he picks it up. And the reason why Shane Battier should be on your team is because he can shoot, he can shoot, and he can shoot. And I know it's not really in a budget, but I'm going to give this to my higher tier ballers because I really want you guys to pay attention to what's going on in the market today. And that is the fact that Giannis Antetokounmpo, shooting guard, is selling for under 400k for 38 off badges. But the base card coming in at 25 badges is selling for just about that 200k mark, guys. I think this is legitimately one of the best cards you could buy at this time. He's going to go back up in price. This card is probably the best budget baller in the game right now, guys. And that is it from my list. What do you think about this list? Do you think that I was off of anything? Do you think I should have included a top one under 100k? I can in the comment section below. Make sure you subscribe. It's Coach Kobo signing out. Catch you on the next one, guys.